might be able to write a fortune at least for the next day mm. or so that sounds pretty good here in San Diego. Warm and sunny. I like yeah. it. How about <laughs> 75 and sunny. I can go on all night. <laughs> the forecast gets better. But then eventually it's going to start changing by the end of the week. We're going to see a lot of different things happening all throughout the county, especially once the weekend rolls around. Right now, live down downtown, you can see the marine layer out there in the horizon, but thankfully staying offshore at this hour. Most likely as it moves inland tonight, there's going to be the possibility for some patchy fog into tomorrow morning. Otherwise, right now, 62 degrees, humidity at 70 percent. It's actually a really lovely evening, perfect for Valentine's evening. Warm and sunny Wednesday, slightly cool, cooler on Thursday. What's going to happen over the next 24 hours is that temperatures will jump about 5 to 10 degrees. Then we'll lose those 5 to 10 degrees on Thursday ahead of the next storm system arriving on Friday, keeping the chance of rain also on Saturday. For now, high pressure is in place, and that's the reason behind the nice warm up tomorrow. But then that high will start drifting into the four corners. It gets weaker ahead of the next storm system, which will carry rain, windy conditions, and also much cooler temperatures. In our 10 News Pinpoint Rain Futurecast, you can see the rain doesn't start until the overnight hours on Thursday by Friday morning. We could see some accumulations averaging about half an inch by the end of the day. There could be over an inch of rainfall along the coastal areas leading to flash flooding and then inland communities averaging close to an inch. Then we get to Saturday and we continue piling up all that rain, adding up to more than two inches throughout the county, but we could see rain totals averaging up to three inches of rain. So this is just a two day period, but the potential for rain will continue into early next week. Periods of heavy rain Friday and Saturday gusts as high as 60 miles an hour. Even coastal areas could see wind gusts of up to 40. There's a possibility for thunderstorms, flash flooding, slick roadways with rainfall between one and three inches throughout the county. Like I said, that chance will continue into early next week, so most likely flooding will continue to be a potential. And if you have family in Orange County, they're expecting to see even more rain than we do. Tonight, 48 Kearney Mesa, 51 San Diego, also upper 40s in Chula Vista. Tomorrow, temperatures will average closer to 80 degrees from Escondido all the way down along the 15 to areas like Kearney Mesa. Mesa and El Cajon here in San Diego, 75 and sunny for tomorrow. Yes, that's our fortune in our 10 news pinpoint 70 forecast 70 with areas of fog in the morning. Otherwise, the afternoon is going to be a delightful day tomorrow. Take advantage of it on Thursday, a little bit cooler, kind of like today with some clouds in place, low 70s. And then it all changes Friday and Saturday periods of heavy rain. The winds will be picking up coastal areas all the way inland into the mountains. Temperatures plummeting into the 30s on Sunday. There's still a chance for a little bit of rain and next week is going to be cool with a few days of rainfall. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow and Thursday, the days to enjoy. Get out, get moving. Mm -hmm. All right.